today was the first day that I was able to harvest a little bit of asparagus from the garden this spring. Uh, so I thought I'd make steak frites for supper. Except, uh, these are really a lazy day steak frites. They're not steak frites in the traditional French bistro sense. Um, the first thing is, I don't have the right kind of steak. The only thing I had in the freezer is a New York strip. And I'm gonna make a whole bunch of sh shortcuts. Uh, this recipe, if you've ever worked in a French restaurant, this recipe has like 1% soigné. Uh, very little soigné, it is mostly shoemaker. Um, we'll bring a little soigné in later. I'm gonna get right back into the prep. So for the steak frites, of course, you're gonna need steak and potatoes. And I've already started cutting up the potatoes. I don't peel them, a lot of people do. Um, I like to leave the peels on. I kind of like that rustic look. I like the crunch, the flavor. I like everything about the peels, so I leave them on. And you wanna cut those until they're roughly all the same size so that they cook at the same time. I put them in a bowl of cold water and ideally you'd wanna leave them in there for at least an hour. Um, and I would season that water with salt and baking soda. The baking soda will give you a nice, really brown, crispy exterior. Fantastic exterior. But I'm short on time, so I take them out of the water almost immediately. And then pat them dry with a tea towel. And then I put them into a Dutch oven. This is a cast iron Dutch oven. You could use any heavy bottom pot that you have. You just want the pot to be large enough that the oil doesn't come up above, say, halfway. And you'll notice that there is no oil in this pot. This is a cold pot. So at this point, I add the oil. Cold pot, cold potatoes, cold oil. Then I turn on the heat to like a medium, medium high. You don't want to heat it too quickly. You just want it gently to come up through the temperature range. The idea is that as the oil gently heats up, it's going to cook the French fries all the way through evenly before the outside browns. If you put those into hot oil right off the bat, the outside is going to burn before the inside is cooked. Um, and this way, everything happens slowly and then all of a sudden they're done. It's gonna take uh, 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how much heat you pour on. Don't make it too hot too quickly. Sort of a nice, gentle rise. And by the time the oil gets up to 320 degrees Fahrenheit, your fries will be cooked and you can pull them out. Um, this is a shortcut that negates the need to parboil the potatoes ahead of time or uh, blanch them in a cooler oil before putting them into a hotter oil. All happens at one time, really easy. Uh, you're not putting something cold into hot oil. There's not going to be any blowback. And if you are at all a little bit trepidatious about, uh, about French fries and cooking deep fat frying at home, this is a very easy way to get started. Very safe. Now while the French fries are cooking, I want to prep the steak, salt, and um, now based on the way that we're going to cook this steak, I don't need any of the fat on the outside. I'm going to trim off as much as I can. I'm going to leave a little bit on. but there is this little bit of cartilage around the one side of the steak. I'm not gonna try and cut it off, I'm just gonna slice through it in places. The idea is that that cartilage would, uh, as soon as you put it in the pan, it's going to shrink and contract and the steak will get wavy. If you cut through it, the steak will stay nice and flat, um, more even cooking. Hit that with pepper and as soon as the fries come out, we're ready to go. I pull the fries out and I drop them on a sheet tray that has a rack on top and then I hit them immediately with some salt. Then I take those and I throw them into an oven that I've preheated to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit just to keep them warm while the steak cooks. Now I know what you're saying. How's he gonna cook the steak? Here it comes. Take that steak and you drop it in the hot oil. Um, and you don't walk away, you stay very close. 
and you check it often with an instant read thermometer. And when that steak comes up to about 118 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature, pull it out, put it onto a rack on a sheet tray, cover it and allow that steak to rest. Now I'm a big proponent of resting mostly so that the temperature normalizes throughout the steak. Um, so you don't get really hot on the outside and really cold on the inside. The temperature will normalize and there'll be some carryover cooking. Once the steak is rested, I put some burr à la bernaise on top, uh, just a fancy way of saying uh, compound butter. Put that on top so that it melts into it. Arrange the fries around it nicely. And slice that open. So there you have it, lazy day steak frite. Um, steak is amazing. I know you're gonna say I'm crazy, but it is super moist and tender. And that is a really cheap, horrible steak. That's the emergency steak from the back of the freezer that you know is designed for this type of meal. That you know, I'm hungry, what am I gonna have? And the fries, um, cooking them this way is, is really nice. These have sat out for a while because I've been fiddling with the camera, so they're not quite as crisp as they were, oh, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes ago when all of this was actually ready to eat. Um, but still, they're really good. They're cooked all the way through, cooked nicely. The compound butter on top is really nice. And now that all of this is done, I'm gonna cook the asparagus because I don't wanna ruin the asparagus. That to me is the star of the meal. Thanks for coming by. Hope to see you again soon.